Hey, it's Scott from San Marcus Makes. Today we are going to talk about maintaining our wooden utensils. So you may have seen I made this wooden spatula, spoon, whatever we want to call it on a video. Um, and I'll put it right up here if you want to see that if you haven't already. I called this my version 1.0. Uh, since then I've made some other ones. Um, I will definitely do a video of the one that I like the most and the one that I'll continue to make much more. Um, but today is all about resurfacing, refinishing so that these last for a long time. Let's see, let's first talk about the products that we're going to use. All right, so let's talk about the products. First, no brand loyalty here. It's just Howard's is kind of the easy one you can get that you're going to find at most box, I mean big box stores. Uh, that's why I'm using it. It's about $10. Uh, but look, there are definitely two types that you want to think about. So the first one is mineral oil and wax. I like to start with this, especially on a cutting board. I'm going to put my first layer of this and then I'm going to maintain it with mineral oil most importantly whatever you're going to use make sure it's food safe all of these are going to be touching food so you want to make sure it's food safe now let's look at our utensils so why would we resurface these or why would we want to keep them uh up with oil so first for the refinishing one thing i do like about any spoon that i make i put an edge wouldn't call it a knife but it's so that i can scrape the pan if i'm trying to get one of my favorite things in the world, the brown bits. I want to use that to scrape. Um, plus if it, I know in some spots it gets kind of rough around the edges. I want to make sure I can sand those down. And then I know in a few of these, there's starting to be some brown marks on it. It's kind of hard to tell as they dry, but they do have some blacker marks on it. And all that's because it, it just set wet. Um, so, I want to get those out so they continue to look beautiful. Uh, but after it's sanded, we want to get some kind of finish on them. Um, I'm, you know, these are, I guess, water resistant, not waterproof. That's where we're going to go next is we're going to put a little sanding to it. Uh, I'm going to use a 120 just to break down under the edges. You got to, of course, use, move much more wood. You may want to uh, step up and then work your way down but I'm gonna end with a 220. All right, let's sand. So after sanding with 120, you can go 220. Not a need. If you watch the first video or think of a cutting board um, video where you wet the wood, sand it, don't need to do that again. You've already done that. You sh will not need to do that this time. Go ahead and wipe it all down. Get any of that sawdust off of it. And then we'll get ready for our finish. We definitely recommend get some kind of tub that A, it will fit. Um, but this is, will help you. This is, I normally keep some oil in here so I can dip. It doesn't get on my uh, table. Um, so definitely recommend a container, but I'm going to get all of these in here and get the oil on it. So it's as simple, and this is a new container, so I got to remove the stopper or the plastic. And you're just going to very liberal put this on and soak it in. Very liberal on it. Why it's good to have this container. You can just keep it. You don't have to worry about filling the bottle back up. It's the only thing I ever do in this container. But you want an extremely liberal amount on here. And then it's going to set for about 30 minutes per coat. We're going to wipe it off. And we're going to repeat at least two to three times. We're going to do this. We'll just let it set. Wipe it off, do it two or three more times. While it's setting, put the lid on so nothing gets in it. Keeps your oil good and clean. I'll show you what it looks after three soaks. All right, these have been soaking for three times. Last one, uh, right about an hour. 
So let's buff this off. And you get to see that nice black walnut. Yeah, very, very, very good. And there you have it. Be ready to use. Get the last one done. All right, you can see the last one is done. And if that's not a reason to, that you should be using black walnut, look at how beautiful that has come out. I love black walnut. One thing you'll always notice is the tips are gonna be black. This is from it cooking. Think of it toasting, burning. Um, so you're not gonna get this probably all the way back to the normal color. No issues there. Um, you're still leaving a lot of oil. Just keep kind of buffing it out. Um, but then they'll be good to go. All right, finished product. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, one thing to think about as this starts to look dry, every time you wash it, of course, never put these in the dishwasher, but every time you wash it, it's going to get a little more dull and dull. When it looks dry, 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 it's time to do this. Um, all depending on how much you use it, think anywhere from a month, six months, all going to be dependent on how much you use it. Well, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.